The good news is we are in Boston, Massachusetts, the home of John Cena tonight for ECW. The bad news is John Cena is nowhere to be seen. We literally can't see him because he's not here tonight on this ECW 11th of December 2007 show. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. Only a couple more ECW shows left in the year 2007. I believe we have two more, and then the final one is a best of. Where Joey Styles and Taz just sit down and tell us about the good old days of 2007. The good old days. Um, I mean, there's not much from 2007. Like, what's it going to be? It's going to be probably McMahon segments, the four on four Extreme Rules match, and maybe a bit of CM Punk's reign. I mean, what what else is there really to talk about in terms of the best of 2007? Like, six had a lot. You just got a feeling as the year goes on in ECW, not much is going to be good. I think, I think all the best moments of 2007, they're probably going to be earlier in the year when you still had the originals on the show. They were feuding with the new breed, and then you had McMahon and Lashley over the ECW title. Uh, the, to me, that's all the best moments, I think, of ECW. Yeah, I would agree with that, but we'll have to wait and see. I mean, I doubt Bloody Balls Mahoney and uh, the Miz's feud's going to be on there, to be honest. Or, I'll show you. You'll see. Any of that. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Kevin Lashley will be all over it. Kevin Thorn. At least the big show won't be on it. Kevin Thorn. Kevin Thorn, baby. Ah, uh, anyway, we open up with tag match. The ECW World Champion, CM Punk and Kane defeated Deuce and Domino with Cherry. Now, it turns out that Kane and Punk are taking on... The two big fat guys at the... Ebony at, Destruction. Um, Daddy V and Mark Henry at Armageddon. I thought this tag match was happening this week, but it turns out no. It's happening at Armageddon. Taz said on commentary that Joey Styles couldn't hang out with people like Deuce and Domino or even a girl like Cherry. And then Joey Styles made a comment about, well, what if I was there? What was he... What, attorney? I, I think it was. No? No, it wasn't attorney, no. Pro officer. Parole officer, parole that's Parole officer, that was it. And I, I, I just missed the days where there was a bit of banter back and forth between commentators, and you had the commentators thinking, and it was like quit wit as well, you know, like they were thinking on their feet. Say it's just that Irish prick will say, Seth Rollins, or something like that. What? He just says their name. He's like, Nick Breaker. <laughs> no, I don't know what I'm on about. No. He just puts emphasis on words, that's all he does, doesn't come up with anything good. No, I'm on about no. No. Fucking right, anyway. Joey Styles and Taz are fucking brilliant, but see everyone else today, they suck. Like, you see, you made a joke about this. You pro they probably have to issue a statement. Oh, we issued a statement to uh, so and so, but we do not mean to d defame or, you know, take away from their character. Uh, this was not meant, this was meant in the, with the nicest thing. But fuck off, man. Isn't it embarrassing? They would. <sighs> the commentaries today is just. Cookie That's cutter the, pish. Just like the product, do not it? That's pretty much it. But this match, I mean, Kane and CM Punk win. Should it really have kicked off the show? Should we not be getting CM Punk throughout this show? I think we should, but Jason Domino didn't really stand a chance, did they? No. No, they didn't. But they win. Yeah, they do a, a synchronised choke slam. And uh, the big device, man. Yeah, what a manoeuvre. Did G you like this? GTS. GTS. I, I, I was a GTS. Focus. You know what? It was a botch GTS. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. He hits us a botch. It, why did he pick a move that he can't do? He just does not have the fucking strength to do I mean, he maybe he can do it on Jamie Noble. When yeah. he's taking on guys like that. And someone like John Morrison, that's athletic, and will actually fucking sell the move good for him. But see, anytime CM Punk is hitting this move, and I don't even mean, I don't even mean big main offenders. Anytime he's hitting this move on a guy that's about 230, 240, and they aren't like overly athletic, it always looks shit. Yeah. It looks fucking garbage. It does, but... the. Up next with Shelton Benjamin, Gold Digger. Yo, Gold. I'm just not digging Shelton Benjamin at this right point right here right now, are you? No, I, I, Gold Digger, Gold Standard. He said he's going to find some real gold. He's gonna... Like the people did back in the day, they went after the mines. I don't really care about this. I mean, mate, it's 2007 at this point. Like, that's like 1800s when they went out for gold for the, the mine. There's just nothing interesting happening on ECW. Like, no. It shows you raw 15th anniversary. Taker, Austin, Austin Foley, yeah. all the legends come back, McMahon for the show. Yeah, Triple uh, H, Steph McMahon, McMahon having segments, you've got, I mean, Trish and Lita returning 
for like the first time in a year, I'd probably say. RVD pops up. All this shit happening, man. And, and what do we get tonight? Absolutely nothing. Up next, we've got John Morrison and Miz taking on Shannon Moore and Jimmy Wang Yang. I like Jimmy Wang Yang's theme song. Dun, 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 but dun, the, dun, you know what? This match should last as long as the train. <laughs> as, as long as the train horn is his theme. Because, no, why are the tag champs being dragged by these two fuckers? I am Jimmy Wang Yang. He's got a good wee theme song, but he does right. But why is this match going as long as it is? Probably eat up some time on the show. Fuck, oh, I, don't fuck know. I don't know. No, but it went longer than the. But opener. the commentators did say that Shannon Moore and Jimmy Wang Yang might have just earned themselves a shot at the tag team titles, despite losing. <laughs> Taz thinks that Jimmy Wang Yang put up a good fight. So that's mad. That's fucking mental. Alright, they made a thing yet. I think the best part Trouble of the in show. paradise, my Trouble man. Right. Trouble in paradise. Jamaica. Yeah, give me put some rasta man on that. Salito little jiggle man, Roman Lico bowling man. <laughs> Kofi Kingston. Uh, so, Kofi Kingston. This is here. Kofi Kingston at his fucking best. Right? Not this world champion pish. With a dented chest. Aye. Oh, the rhymes. But yeah, no, I mean, I, I like Kofi Kingston back when he had this. It's, it's a gimmick, it's something. I know it's not much, like, but it's something. Yeah, like <laughs> some guy after Jamaican beach speaking in a Jamaican accent. That looks like a little bit of trouble in paradise, man. Don't always trouble in paradise, uh. <laughs> um, But yeah, so he, basically, someone's bullying someone on the beach, and Kofi Kingston goes over, takes care of him. Then he digs him underneath the sand, and then the guy that was getting bullied comes up and kicks sand on the guy's face. I say, isn't it? Like, I mean, he's, he, he's destroyed them. Then we a, a divas handicap match: Victoria and Layla. Uh, beat Kelly Kelly another match that seemed to last a bit longer than I think it should have um, Kelly Kelly probably put up too good of a fight and then she should you know what the problem is with this match right you have a two on one match and there's people on either side that can't work it's not It's not like it's Victoria against these two which would probably work better yes it's Victoria. at least no matter who they tag in yeah like because Victoria versus Kelly Kelly is going to be bad anyway, like, but when it's Vic uh, Kelly Kelly versus Layla, it's like... Yeah, like... What although what I would say is it's probably the best match they've had featuring each other. Yeah, like, what, what can you do? But you know what, they win. Then Michelle McCool came out we to make the save. Eye. I mean, is, is Mark Calloway, mean Mark Calloway, being fucking mean again? Nice, he fucking battered or something? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, but Michelle McCool came out with a black eye. Victoria pointed to her eye. I don't know who gave Michelle McCool the black eye. Does anybody know. want to explain? Do you want to know? Right, promo them with Matt Stryker. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Matt, yeah, fair right, enough. Me and Mark, right. Matt Stryker backstage. This is the same promo every week. He talks about big, dark meat, a bony meat. I'm in between meat, right, mate? Fucking, fucking get, case, fuck. Get, if you want it in there, mate, let's go ahead. Brother. He just wants a free He's in a bag of fucking Maltesers, man. He's fucking... He's, he's, he's in love. Come on. I don't even want to fizzle that. Matt Stryker in the middle of these two, <laughs> getting it on. Well, I mean, you know what? The, the, the big Daddy Fee's fucking moveset, you have to envision it, because he fucking does it. Yeah, Big Daddy Fee takes no prisoners. Right, anyway, um, I mean, yeah, I guess it's all they contributed to the show. What would happen if Big Daddy Fee done that move on a woman? I reckon they'd have to edit that out of the network. I don't think they could show it. I think it would be fucking dead. Company would die? Well, I think the woman would die. Fuck. And then the company would die. That move is fucking insane. No, he legit climbs on your back and humps you. There's no other way to describe it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can do it in the game. I know you can do it in like the it's a SmackDown vs. Raw. I think 2006. That's well, mad. That's seven, I think. It might be six, I don't he know. He just flops something down in the ring. It's <laughs> fucking weird. Anyway, yeah. Um, then to end the match, we get the non World Heavyweight title match with the world champion Batista taking on Elijah Burke. Just your basic match. I mean, Batista's defending the belt here against Edge and Undertaker. Oh, and I think he's still going to lose your work. So he's not really going to lose to Elijah Burke. Elijah Burke. Elijah Burke. Elijah Elijah Burke apparently brought Shelton Benjamin in. Apparently they're best friends, but I haven't really seen anything of the two of them together. Yeah, I know, like, well, why is why Shelton Benjamin not in commentary or something during this match? Oh, it's ringside. Stack, you know? stack the odds against... Big Dave. Yeah, but no, Big Dave wins, and this show was an L, though. I think, I think Benjamin was too busy looking for gold. He, he might have been. Give me my pot of gold, fella. Give me my pot of gold there, fella. Oh, fucking Seth Rollins there from the top of the rafters. My name is Kevin Patrick. <laughs> Kevin Patrick. <laughs> right. I'm getting this show a two. It was shite. 
Yeah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't good. Um, when was the last DCW that was good? <laughs> Now you're talking. But anyway, guys, that's us signing out. We'll be back very soon. Yeah, ECW's in a slump and it needs to get better. It does need to get better, guys, but until next time. But I don't think it will. Peace!